Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM and DevOps tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about Jenkins distributed architecture. The problem with using one Jenkins server is that suppose you have a huge project to build on a regular basis. So at that time, one Jenkins server cannot simply handle the load. So to address the shortcomings of single Jenkins server, Jenkins distributed architecture was introduced. If you will look at this diagram, you can just imagine how the Jenkins distributed architecture looks like. So here we will have master where our Jenkins is installed. So we already have Jenkins installed in my server. So that it will be my master. So this is my Jenkins master server, which we have right now on AWS. It consists of a Jenkins master and multiple Jenkins slave, as you can see here. Jenkins master is used for scheduling build jobs. It also dispatches the build to the slaves for execution. Master Jenkins also monitors the slave machines and distributes its workload to the slaves. These slaves performs the jobs as told by the Jenkins master. So Jenkins doesn't work alone. Jenkins has to have few servers which it will use basically to deploy its application. It can be a development server, it can be a testing or it can be a production server. As Jenkins is the CI tool, so you can integrate it with different servers. So whenever you want to connect any node to Jenkins master, so it should basically have Java installed on it. And what Jenkins does is it connects to the node through a GNLP connection. So the master Jenkins will be connected with the slaves by using the GNLP connection. And this will be the only server where you will be having Jenkins only in the master machine. So there's no need to install Jenkins on the slave machines all you need is a JDK 8 or Java installed on slave machines. And these servers can be connected to the masters using GNLP. To get an idea of this kind of architecture, we will first install one more Ubuntu. So go to the browser. This is my EC2 dashboard. Here you can see I already have Ubuntu installed and I already have installed Jenkins on this Ubuntu. Here I have this Jenkins and here it is using IP address this one. So this was the IP address and now I will install one more instance of Ubuntu. To do that, just click on launch instance. So for my slave server, or I can say, suppose consider it as a development server or testing server, I'm creating one more instance. Just click on Ubuntu free tier, select it, configure instance, add storage, keep everything default, add tax, next configure security group. Here select the existing one. I have already existing one this or the Ubuntu which I have already. Let's review and launch. Click on launch. Let me select the existing pair. Ubuntu test and launch instance. Let's open the console. Let me rename it to slave Ubuntu. Now let's connect to this server. To connect with it, we need to use putty. Open the putty and copy the IP address from here. Let me copy this and paste here. Go to SSH, click on auth and upload the PPK file. Ubuntu test, click on open, login as, now type Ubuntu, enter. Now it is time to authenticate with it. So this is successful. I hope that you understood the term of distributed Jenkins architecture. In the next video, we will see how you can connect new node that is slave server with the master. So stay tuned for that. And that's it from this video guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching.